Hey guys, what's up? Frustrated Fisherman here uh, with another video. We are working on the Johnny boat today. I have uh, taken it out several times now. Gotten used to getting it on the trailer and everything. I think I've even, uh, I think I've even got a couple scratches on it now, but whatever. Um, so I told you I was going to be paddling this to begin with, which I am. Um, and it paddles, it paddles great. Uh, it is, it's a little hard to get started in the water. It's not made for paddling. Uh, but it, it's fine, especially for fishing. It's, it gets around just fine. Um, what I did notice is that tracking, uh, while it's not horrible, it does want to kind of walk some. Uh, so I found myself kind of correcting my steering a lot. And Johnny Boat, uh, being the smart people that they are, have a solution for that. And we're going to install that right now. with the Johnny Boat retractable fin kit. This is everything that it's gonna come with. You're gonna have the two retractable skegs. You're gonna have two bolts, two washers, two nuts, and two sleeves. Pretty straightforward. Those are gonna go on the, of course, rear of the Johnny Boat. In these slots right here, we'll show you how to do that now. All right, here we are at the rear end of the Johnny boat and we are installing these skegs, one on either side. You want the rounded side facing towards the front. Hopefully that is obvious. Um, you're gonna put one of these bolt sleeves. This is gonna allow the skeg to pivot on your bolt when you wanna retract it. You're gonna put one of those in there and then you want this line in that groove on top of the skeg, okay? Uh, so we're just going to stick that right in there like that. Hold that in while we put our bolt in place. This bolt's the Phillips head. Now the holes through the brackets on the Johnny boat are a little snug. Uh, so you'd, you probably will have to thread this all the way through until you get to the other side. Um, they are, it appears, the exact same size as the screw. So just a little snug getting through there. But if you're me, I like that. I can't figure that side now. There we are. Now we're through the other side. Now we're going to put our nylon lock washers on. Don't you love when you grab a socket the first time and it's the right socket the first time? That didn't happen to me just now, but I love when that happens. It's not a 3 8 uh, must be the metric. Excuse my ignorance, but I'm going to say that's 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. So it's a 10 millimeter nylon lock washer get our 3 8 drive here and tighten it in in tighten mode not loosen mode always make sure your sockets in tighten mode when tightening Helpful tip. All right, that's turning. Let's hold that. There we go. That's beautiful. Probably don't want to tighten this down too tight because it's going to make it hard to raise up and down. Just snug enough. Just snug enough is good. Uh, then the instructions are going to say that you are going to loop this over the handle. You are going to attach it to itself like so so we're over the handle there so in the down position it's going to hold 
tension on it, as you can see there. If you hit anything, it's just gonna bounce out of the way, okay? Uh, if you are using your motor or, I don't know, in a situation where you would not want this in place, you're just gonna fold it up, put the cord through this little groove in the fin, and you are up. Then if you want to deploy, you're just gonna pull on it. Super easy. Uh, these look like they're really, really gonna help with tracking. Um, super excited about that. Uh, basically, to finish your install, you just do the other side. Easy. I like it. See, you can do this. It's so easy. Johnny Boat makes things so easy. Uh, if you got any questions about the Johnny Boat, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. Uh, I will respond and let you know my answer if I have one. If I don't, I'll reach out to Joe or somebody at Johnny Boats and get you an answer. Um, yeah, so if you want to, you can click somewhere in that region and subscribe to the channel, The Frustrated Fisherman, or you can click somewhere over here and watch one of my other videos, like, uh, like watch me get some striper or uh, watch me, uh, you know, test the stability of the Johnny boat uh, in the pool. Either one of those, you know, if that's what pops up right here. I don't know. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.